Hey everyone, let's dive into today's big story. Hurricane Debbie, a Category 1 storm, has made landfall in Florida's Big Bend region. This storm is bringing significant storm surge, flooding, and power outages. It hit near Steinhatchee, which is eerily close to where Hurricane Idalia struck almost a year ago. Debbie is expected to weaken as it moves north, but not before impacting Georgia and the Carolinas with heavy rainfall. As the storm approached, hundreds of flights were canceled or delayed, affecting major airports across Florida and even reaching as far as Atlanta. The storm surge reached a staggering 5.5 feet at Cedar Key, causing significant coastal flooding. The storm's slow movement is expected to worsen flooding, potentially dropping months' worth of rain in some areas. This hurricane season has been unusually active, with Debbie being the fourth named storm. Just last month, Hurricane Barrel, the earliest Category 5 Atlantic hurricane on record, hit Texas. Seeing two hurricanes this early in the season is unusual and concerning. Now let's talk about the impact and preparation. Over 200,000 customers in Florida are experiencing power outages. Areas near the landfall, particularly Dixie and Taylor counties, have been significantly affected. Emergency crews in Pinellas County, including Clearwater and St. Petersburg, are inundated with calls for high water rescues due to heavy rains and flooding. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency, activating the National Guard for humanitarian aid and search and rescue efforts. Schools and universities across Florida and Georgia have announced closures. Residents are urged to prepare for power outages, avoid flooded roads, and have essential supplies on hand. President Biden has also approved a disaster declaration for Florida, enabling FEMA to coordinate relief efforts. This comes as Florida's Big Bend region is still recovering from Hurricane Adalia's devastation last August. Stay safe out there, and remember to subscribe to this channel for the latest updates on Hurricane Debbie and other news stories. Thanks for watching.